Welcome back to our technique series. Today, I'm gonna to show you through some line work, shadow boxing. So if you can set yourself up five to 10 meters free available stretch of space. Um, and then I'm gonna give you some techniques. We're gonna go through 10 rounds today, uh, different combination for each round. One round will be up and back with the shadow technique. Um, it should take about 10 or so minutes. If you want, you could repeat the lines. You could do two rounds for each of the exercises that we do up to you. So I'll run you through all the different exercises and show you exactly how they're done. So round one, we're gonna work alternating blocks. Or oh, check, sorry. Uh, block, block. When we work with the block, we want to make sure that the upper body stays the same, guard stays tight, elbows down. We'll open up the elbow slightly to allow the leg to come up to the inside of the knee. We'll try to keep that upper body fixed like this. We'll stay on the balls of the feet and we'll move through the blocks. Landing forward after each block. Turn around when you reach the end of your stretch. Keep your chin tucked in, elbows pointing to the ground. Yes, please. All right, round two. Alternating knee strikes. We'll land forward after each knee, staying on the balls of the feet, keeping the opposite hand on guard as well. That's what it's going to look like. Knee, land forward, stay on the balls of the feet. Try to extend from the hips when you strike with the knee. Keep the toe pointed. Round three, we're gonna do three different things. We'll do a block, a push kick, and then a knee. We'll alternate, so it'll be left, right, left, and then right, left, right. That's about, yeah, that's all you need to know. Have a look. Okay, so landing forward after each technique. Block, tip, knee strike. Then we'll reverse. Block, land forward, tip, knee strike. Block, tip, knee. Lock, two, in. Lock, two, in. Lock, two, in. One more So round four, we're gonna do a thrust step, jab cross, okay? So with the thrust step, uh, the break to break that down, the weight is gonna be a little lower, we're gonna load up the rear calf, so right now I can feel a lot of pressure here in the rear calf, and I'm gonna push off the floor, and uh, not so much step, but I'm just gonna let this leg like off the floor, and I'm gonna thrust forward with the whole stance, and keep my stance like this. One more time. Pushing off the bot, uh, the rear foot. Now as I push off, I'm gonna throw the jab. Then I've landed in my stance. Throw the cross. Thrust step, jab cross. All in the rear calf. and get a nice rotation for the cross. It's key that you keep your rear foot, uh, rear heel off the ground and foot facing about 45 degrees.
Ah, yeah, I did something a bit funny there. Try not to like jump. Try not to like get too much height. Want to stay low, sharp. Round five. We're gonna do four elbow strikes. Lead up elbow or forward elbow. Rear twelve to six. Lead from the bottom and rear spin. All right, this one makes me a little bit dizzy, so I might have to have a little break. Okay, so from here, stepping forward with each elbow. Step forward, step forward, step, elbow, spin. Up, hook, up, spin. Up, hook, up, spin. Up, hook, up. Always keeping the opposite hand, protecting yourself, so don't do this. Keep the opposite hand here. When you get comfortable, you can do it a bit faster. The screen will make the video faster here, so it looks like it's faster. No. <laughs> okay, try to do it a bit faster. Next one, round six. We're going to throw, so now we're going to start getting the combinations a little bit more complex. This one's going to involve jabs, teeps, and a thrust teep. Um, the technique will be jab, fake teep, into jab, regular teep, and then from here, a thrust teep. With the thrust teep, similar to the thrust step we did with the jab cross, we're going to load weight in the rear leg here. As soon as I lift this leg off, I'm going to push off the floor at the same time. I land the foot back on the floor and I land on my, on my target. So one more time with the thrust tip. Okay, so the combo together. Jab, fake, jab, tip, thrust tip. Jab, fake, up. Make sure that fake is fast. With the fake, with the fake tip, make sure that we get the knee high, at least to the waist height, like this, probably won't have much effect. Lift it high. Land forward with the jab. Jab, fake, tip, thrust tip. Jab, up, tip, thrust tip. Jab, up, tip, thrust tip. Jab, up, tip, thrust tip. Round seven, we're gonna work jab, fake rear kick, a step up, lead knee. All right, so three things together. With the fake rear kick, make sure that you don't leave the ground with your foot, keep the foot on the ground. Sell it with the rest of the body, sliding the foot forward, covering some distance is fine. All right, so the technique, jab, fake rear, step through, Lead knee. The step through should uh, cause our opponent to react to the fake. So the fake is like testing them, then the step through they think it's really coming through, maybe they'll block, left knee should land. Jab, fake, step through, knee. Jab, fake, step, out, lead knee. If you do a skip style kick, jab, skip, same thing. Jab, skip for the fake, step, knee. Jab, boop, boop. Be careful when you do your fake to not uh, drop the guard. You don't want to do this and completely expose yourself. Keep the guard tight. Jab, boop, 
It will help with the fake if you can sort of sell it with, with the rest of your body, with your facial expression, with everything. If I do the fake just like this, or if I do it like, oh, I think it's more believable. Getting more complex. Next round, we're going to do jab, cross. We're going to do a fake switch attack. Maybe we could be drawing a fake uh, kick out, for example. It's going to cause a block. Fake. And then from here, we, maybe the block's up. We're going to shoot the knee through the middle, real knee, land forward, and then chop leg. Okay? So full combo together. Uh, jab cross, switch, fake. Notice I have this like uh, sort of rush to the strike, but then I freeze and pause myself. From here, real knee, chop. After that chop, oh, recover back. One, two, fake, knee, chop. One, two, fake, real, chop. Up, 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 knee, chop. This next one is going to involve uh, some sort of more complex footwork style stuff. So we're stringing together a rear elbow. From here, we're going to do uh, like a stagger step forward and unwind the body at the same time with an uppercut, cross, and then a pendulum uh, lead leg attack. Okay, so one more time. So this, rear elbow, unwind the body, uppercut, cross, and then straight. Round 10 is going to involve uh, a sidestep and a jumping technique at the end, so make sure you have enough room for that one. We're going to work off first starting with a jab, a switch knee times two, one, two, landing forward. From here, we're going to sidestep and defend against a, a tip, so it's going to look like this, then from here. We're gonna jump, weights on the back leg, we're gonna jump with the left, tape with the rear leg, and then reset. Cool. Uh, maybe the sidestep needs a little explanation. When I sidestep over, I'm not stepping with the right leg, I'm gonna push with the left leg. I'm talking left and right, if, assuming you're orthodox. If you're not orthodox, reverse it. We're gonna lift this leg off the ground, and push off to the side. As I do that, I'm going to use the hand to swipe the tape. Oop. So from here, 
Up, boom, and then jump. Take. Okay, hold on, we're together. Jab, up, knee, knee, side step, jump, T. Jab, knee, knee, side step, jump, T. That's the 10 rounds of uh, technique line work. Again, if you want, if you have more time, you can repeat them twice. You can do up and back twice for each round. If you feel off balance with one, spend some more time with that, practice. You should feel overall balance through these techniques. This will help a lot, because not only are we shadowing, shadow boxing on the spot, we're incorporating movement as well. So they really help your game.